Good morning. Day 184. Cooking down the freezer, refrigerator, and working pantry. So today it's chilly out today. It's 59. And it's only going to be 70 degrees, which is actually good weather for working and a good day for saving money on air conditioning. But then next week it's going up into the 90s again. The weather has been up and down in June, but it's actually been a really, really beautiful June. We haven't had a lot of rain, but um, it's been really nice. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do today. I'm thinking I may go to, the, to Tom's boat and spend the day there, but I'll have breakfast here, and I'm not sure what that's going to be yet. We'll have to go take a look in the refrigerator. And maybe I'll have time to purge something small, like maybe my computer desk area. That's looking a little cluttered, and that's part of my living room project. So I'm systematically going through my house, trying to get things organized, purged, and cleaned, because the cleaning is getting more difficult, and as I get older, I don't want to end up in a hoarded house. So that's my plan, and I think tackling the easier stuff first, like my living room, is a good way to go. Now my outside is looking pretty good. I worked really hard this year to try and get it set up so that I can continue to garden. And so far so good. And uh, that's what I want to do with the rest of my things. Just make life a little easier so that I'm not stressed about having to take care of things. Because with three dogs, they take a lot of attention, and I enjoy spending time with them and my family, and I want to get back to spending more time with some of my friends, because since the pandemic, that's kind of fallen by the wayside. People have gotten used to staying home, so that's what they're doing, and I stay home a lot, but I'm a homebody anyway. My dad was a homebody, and he, he was just happy staying home after he got home from work. Now my mom, she likes to still go out and tootle around in marks and, you know, do those sorts of things, but um, not me. I, I prefer staying home. So anyway, what do you guys like to do? Do you like to stay home? Does that drive you crazy staying home? Do you like to get out with people? We're all different. Neither right nor wrong, it just is. All right, well, I'll be back in a little while and we'll see what's for breakfast. Day 184. I have quite a mess going here. Well, I'm not I'm sure what happened to the audio on this. I have a microphone that sometimes I use with my phone, so I may not have had it plugged in all the way. But this is what I'm decluttering right now. I have everything pulled out of this cupboard, and I've decluttered this before, and now I'm decluttering it again. So sometimes what I like to do, even if I don't get rid of a lot of things, I just like to rearrange things so that it I makes more sense. I already decluttered these drawers this morning. These are in my kitchen. And I have a whole bunch of cloth napkins that I want to start using after I uh, finish my paper napkins. So there's three drawers here. I got that one decluttered, and then I have these napkins, uh, paper that I want to finish using up, more cloth napkins, some napkin rings that I'm going to keep, just in case I ever have somebody over for coffee. And then down here, I keep all my 
nut milk bags and linen towels and cheesecloth. So that is all going to stay. So this is the uh, the drawer area that I purged and I want to move these wine glasses into my dining room eventually but that's a project for another day. So I got all those drawers done this morning this is what I'm decluttering now. I decluttered this drawer so everything's nice and neat in there and I do use all these things so that one got done and over here oh I have such a mess going in my kitchen but this is my silverware drawer and there's nothing in here that I'm going to get rid of. I use everything. I have kitchen shears here, all my uh, cutlery, some little knives that I use all the time. And then in this drawer, I've decluttered this already this morning. I've done this several times already over the past year. And I got rid of a bunch of uh, corn holders and this is all stuff I use different size cookie scoops depending on if I'm making cookies ice cream or muffins so those are staying and uh, my cheese cutter so this drawer is all useful utensils that I use I know it looks like a lot but I do use all this so as long as I'm using it, I'm not getting rid of it. So I still have to do this cupboard. Got a lot of stuff in there. And I've gotten rid of some things in there already, but I need to do more. And then over here I have more pots and pans. So all that needs to be looked at as well. So I may get to this one today, I may not, I'm not sure. It depends on how everything else goes. All right, I will be back when I get this done. The is all organized. I have my pots and pans, I have my lids back there. Um, this set down here, I got it um, J.C. Penney years ago, and it has these removable handles and they it also doubles as bowls so it has lids and it's a really nice set all right one cupboard done one drawer done yay and at some point I'll go through this stuff again but this is good for this year okay I'm hungry let's have some breakfast I've been decluttering most of the morning, and boy do I make a mess when I declutter. But a girl's got to eat, so let's see what's for breakfast. I think I already know, but let's take a look. All right, what do we have? I have this dip, not having that. I have some onion, flatbread, naan, garlic naan. I'm going to have another uh, flatbed garlic pizza for breakfast. And I have a little Alfredo sauce left. So I probably won't use it all up, but I'm going to have that. Then I think I, oh, the mushrooms, yes, I want to finish those up. And I think I want to make this uh, chicken Alfredo pizza. So for that, I need to go into my freezer. And let's see. Uh...
Somewhere in here, I have some chicken fingers, chicken fries. I think they're in here. And I have more flatbread that I bought on my last shop because I like the pizzas. They're a quick meal. All right, so I'm going to make a few of these and then I'll be back when I meet you at the stove. Freezer's getting there. I'm so happy. All right. Well, I have all my ingredients for my garlic naan pizza. And first thing I want to do, of course, is put some sauce on it. So I think I'm going to toast this first for a little bit so that it's a little crunchier. And then I'm going to go ahead and put the toppings on. All right, I toasted this up a little bit. Now I'm going to top it with this Alfredo sauce. And you can put on as much or as little as you like. So I like a good bit on there. I don't like a whole lot of tomato sauce on my pizza. But the Alfredo sauce is good. Oh, I like tomato sauce too. Don't get me wrong. But... I don't like a whole lot of tomato sauce on my pizza. I like a drier pizza. <clears throat> so that should be good. All right. Now I'm also going to put a little bit more garlic. I know, lots of garlic. But that's okay. Put on as little or as much as you like, or leave it off. So about half a teaspoon, and I'm just going to use my hands here. And then I'm just going to mix it in. So, I'm very happy that I got the drawers in the kitchen done. I wasn't planning on doing the kitchen today. I was actually planning on starting uh, the dining room, but that's harder than the kitchen because I don't know what I want to get keep and get rid of there. So... That makes it a little more difficult. And like I said, I kind of wait for the aha moment. I'm going to put a little bit of this Italian cheese on the Alfredo before I put the toppings on just to get everything to stick a little bit better. And uh, then I'm going to put the toppings on. So this is my brunch. It's already quarter to two. So, but, you know, you can put eggs on here, bacon, you can put all kinds of breakfast foods on here if you want. But I won't have lunch. This will sort of be my, my brunch. All right now I have uh, thin slivered uh, um, onions that I'm going to put on. And some mushrooms. Those are my favorite toppings on, on pizza. Mushrooms and onions. I used to like mushrooms, onions, and pepperoni, but I don't eat meat anymore, so but I do have vegan pepperoni that I made. 
that I'll be putting on here. So those chicken fries that I got from Aldi's uh, lasted a long time, and I did, forgot to look to see if they have those still, because you know how they get specialty items and then they disappear. Sometimes they bring them back, sometimes they don't. So before I put any more toppings on, I'm going to put on some spices. I've got some Italian seasoning here I'm going to sprinkle on. Whoa! I really did sprinkle that on, didn't I? No worries, we'll just do this. I'm sure it'll be tasty. There we go, let's try the other side. All right. <laughs> hey, we don't we don't have um, mistakes here. We just have happy accidents, right? And you all know who that came from. That's from Bob Ross. All right. He doesn't know it, but he was my mentor. This is just some oregano because I like oregano. I like the taste of it. And then I have some basil, dried basil here. Okay. Very good. Now I have some vegan pepperoni. And I'm not sure if I have a video with this recipe or if I just made it. But I made this quite a while ago and it was in the freezer. And uh, I ate one already. I had two in there. So now I'm eating the second one. That's what it looks like. And it's pretty good. Next time, though, it's a little on the sweet side. I think I'm going to put a little less whatever. I have to look up the recipe because I really don't remember what I did. It's been a while since I did that. All right, I'm going to go get the chicken fries, and I want to put some olives on here, too. So I like to go through my kitchen once or twice a year. I like to go through all the cupboards, because then I remember what I have. And, yeah, I know if you haven't used it in six months or a year, you probably don't need it. But... I kind of enjoy rediscovering things that I have because then I start using them again. So, I mean, it's up to you how you want to declutter, but that's what I do. And then I actually do use the, the things I have. And a lot of times I just forget about them until I find them again. So I have no intention of getting rid of kitchen appliances. Um, even my Keurig, I will keep that for now. And, um, you know, you never know. I, I may use it again, or Ryan may want to use it in the basement. So I'll have to ask him. So anyway, I'm going to put some olives on here. Yummy. And a little bit of garlic salt. Not too much. I don't want it too salty, but pizza is salty. So just a splash. And I'm going to put some pepper on it, too. And yes, I still have my forever pepper grinder here. My pepperoni needed to be a little more peppery. But, you know, sometimes when you're cooking and you're making something new, um, you have to experiment with it. Um, the chicken. So I made extra for later. Because when I'm in the midst of decluttering, I don't really want to stop to make dinner. 
and I still have some of those raviolis that I can make for dinner and I'll add some chicken to it not chicken you know what I mean to um, change it up a bit or I may add some of the chicken strips to a salad if I decide to have a salad so changing things up a little bit makes it a little more interesting so you don't feel like you're eating the same old, same old. But I'm looking forward to this pizza because I'm hungry. All right. So far, this is what we have. And now I'm going to add more cheese. I know what I forgot. Some more Parmesan. So I picked this up during my shop the other day and it's Parmesan Romano and I prefer that over just the regular Parmesan because Romano cheese is a little bit sharper in my opinion. So all right and to top it off with this Italian blend. Don't be chintzy with the cheese, unless you don't like cheese. But you can make this all vegan. The meats on here are vegan. Uh, the Alfredo sauce is not. It's vegetarian. But if you have your favorite cheeses, vegan cheeses, you can make it vegan. Because here in my kitchen, I don't discriminate. You can eat what you like. All right, there it is. I'm going to put that in the oven for 10 to 12 minutes, I'm thinking. I'm just going to keep an eye on it, and then I'll be back. All right, well, here is my pizza. Looks good to me, but the proof is in the taste. So I'm going to cut this up and give it a try. Okay, so pizza is one of my favorite foods. So, keeping the naan, the garlic naan bread handy, um, enables me to make a really quick meal, especially now in the summer. I don't want to heat up the stove or the kitchen or anything like that. So, keeping your favorite flatbread on hand in the freezer makes for a quick and cheap meal and the nice thing about pizza is you can put anything on it so you can clean out your fridge with your pizza ingredients all right I'm going to give this a taste and I'm sure it's good right so let's try it really hot Very flavorful and very tasty. All right, I'm going to eat my lunch and get back and do some more purging, and then I'll be back later. Today's Saturday, but I'm not going to the boat today. It's only about 69 degrees. So, and I don't want to get in a rut. I don't want to do the same thing every day at a certain time. So, okay, I'll be back in a little bit. Well, I did a lot of decluttering today in my kitchen. Almost the whole kitchen, but not quite. I still have uh, the one cupboard that I showed you, and then I have uh, another tall cupboard that I need to go through. But all in good time, that'll take me maybe another two or three days. And I have until Tuesday when the um, donation people are coming. So I thought I would have a little armchair chat with you today instead of a kitchen chat. But I do have my coffee, so cheers. Grab a cup of coffee and um, 
we'll just have a little talk. Boy, this mug looks humongous. <laughs> it's not that big. But I do like my coffee. So the living room, I still have a couple of things, cupboards to go through. I have a lot of storage spaces in my living room. But I just love when I can open my cupboards and things don't fall out. A lot of people declutter differently than I do. I, most of my cupboards and things are neat. They have a lot of things in them, but they are fairly neat. But I have piles that collect everywhere because my cupboards are pretty full. So I have to go through my cupboards a couple times a year and then I can get rid of the piles of things that need to go somewhere. And the piles accumulate from things that I usually, usually from things that I buy, which really hasn't been that much, but these piles are fairly old. Or they come from things that I've pulled out of my cupboards that I don't quite know what to do with. Maybe I'm not to the point where I actually want to let it go. But they need to go somewhere. So what I'm trying to do here is put like with like so that I can keep track of what I have and not continue to buy things that I already have sitting in a cupboard somewhere. So anyway, that's the method to my madness. I was talking to my neighbor today, and she's the opposite. If you go into her house, her house is neat. She doesn't have a bunch of piles around. But she said when she opens her cupboards, everything comes tumbling out. So I made the proposal. I said, let's help each other out and we'll help each other declutter. So she thought that was a good idea and I thought that was a good idea. So it's just a matter of setting it up and seeing when we can both have the time. Because in the summer now, I go to the boat a lot, uh, to Tom's boat, and uh, a lot of times she has family over, or, you know, it's summertime things. And she still works, so, um, but she does have the summer off because uh, she's a school nurse. So we'll see how that goes, but I'm not going to wait um, till we get a date to declutter. I, I just need to, to go ahead with the process. So the biggest problems in my home, my basement is extremely cluttered um, because I have, I have a lot of prep food down there that needs to be organized. And my grandson lives down there, and he has a lot of stuff too. So um, I'm not even going to worry about that um, until he is older and is ready to move out on his own. Then I'll tackle the basement. Um, my garage attic is fairly good. Um, I used to have that just so packed with Christmas things. I mean, that's where I kept all my Christmas things. I mean... I used to decorate my tree differently every year. So I had all these different themes that I did, and, you know, I really enjoyed it. I had teddy bears and rocking horses and old-fashioned-looking um, choir people, which I still have because I really like them, and I still have the rocking horses, too. But I gave a lot of my teddy bears to my... Uh, to my one granddaughter so those are pretty much gone but I still have have a few because 
to me, you know, teddy bears and Christmas and, you know, that whole thing, they all kind of go together. But I've reduced the Christmas stuff probably by at least half. And every year I go up there and I get rid of some more things. I've gotten rid of a lot of the ornaments because I have a very small slim tree now. It's a tabletop tree. I don't want to put up a big tree anymore. It's just too much for me. And I actually keep that tree decorated. I put a big black plastic bag over it and I keep the decorations on there so I don't need a lot of decorations. So most of those things have gone and uh, I, I just feel a whole lot lighter. You know, I, I know I'm not going to use that stuff anymore. I, I loved to decorate when I was younger. And now it's just all too much. I want to get a room done. I want to be comfortable in the room. I want, it be, I want it to be aesthetically pleasing to me and easy to keep clean. Those are my goals. Um, if, if I want a book, I want to know where that book is. I don't want to have to go through a pile to look for it. So those are all my goals. But anyway, um, so it's a process, and it's taking me two, three, four years now. I've been going through this process. And I've been, I've been in this house for just about 20 years. And in that time, my daughter and her fiancé lived with me. Ryan's lived with me. He lived with me when he was little with his mom my daughter, and, um, and now he lives with me again. Uh, Tom and his two girls lived with me for a while. His girls ended up going to uh, college, and, uh, you know, Tom and I were married, so I had to make room for all his things, and then when, when we got divorced, of course, his things left, and then... Um, I could spread my things out. <laughs> so it's been in and out and up and down and this stuff had to go and then I had to rebuy some things and it, it's just been, it's been a whirlwind but now I, I just want to get my living space in order. So I understand now why older people, sometimes you walk into their house and it's like a time capsule. Things haven't changed in years. And I get that now. I get why that happens. So someday my home may end up being a time capsule too. And that's okay with me. Because my living room is pretty much decorated in 70s colors. I love orange and, you know... Um, before I got the new decor, everything was pretty much muted, like my sofa here. You know, it was the golds and, you know, but now, I don't know if you can see, my chairs are a bright lime green with orange cushions. And I have to keep that stuff on there to keep the dogs off. <coughs> so, anyway... That's what I'm doing with the decluttering and then, of course, with my freezer cooked down. Uh, for those of you that don't know, my freezer in the garage that I had for 43 years finally gave up the ghost. I had two freezers full, packed full of food. I couldn't get any more food in either one of them. And I thought, this is ridiculous. I'm one person. <clears throat> and even though my grandson lives with me, he doesn't eat what I eat. He's not a vegetarian. So I made the decision to change that. And, um, you know, as you all know, my goal is to have one freezer. <coughs> Tickle in the throat. That means I need some coffee. Coffee. 
Yum. So anyway, how about you guys? What phase of life are you in? Are you enjoying your uh, phase of life? Are you working hard to change uh, change some things? Are you are you decluttering and purging? Are you doing a lot of shopping? Are you prepping? Um, let me know in the comments below. So, all right. Um, for dinner tonight, I'm just going to have what I had last night. Um, I had the um, Impossible Ravioli with um, the Alfredo sauce and a salad. And that's what I'm going to have today, too. And I'm glad I have that because um, I pretty much spent the whole day decluttering the kitchen. So that's all I have for you today. Um, I want to wish you abundant blessings. I love you guys. Be good to yourself. Be good to others. God bless you. And I'll see you next time. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, comment, and like. Thanks for watching!